Hi, my name is Anne Brady, and I welcome you to a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Listen to learn more about the writing world. After all, the more you learn, the better writer you can become. If you are listening to this podcast, then the chances are you have written your first or maybe your latest book. And now imagine that after publication, best-selling status must be swiftly followed by those wonderful royalty checks. You know, the ones that will offer you financial freedom. (laughs) You wish. Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed. But to be honest, that has been the dream of every single writer-author at some time or another. And yet, the reality of it is only possibly for a rare few. Sounds pretty depressing, doesn't it? I, and probably you, know that most authors, even the prolific writers, are lucky to rake in a few hundred, maybe thousands of pounds per year. And that is despite their tireless reader finding, blog posting and community building efforts. Now more often than not, that result is more likely to waver closer to the zilch mark. But why? Well, perhaps it's because they haven't yet learnt how to convert all those brilliant marketing activities and ideas into some actual book revenue. And if they can't do it, then you are starting to wonder if you can. Like all things in life, if you want to succeed at something, you know you will have to work damned hard at it. And that includes knowing how to make the sales needed to be a successful writer. So, what can you do to improve your chances of boosting sales? A good and positive way is through the creation of an author email list. Now, if you are someone in the position I have just mentioned, then please keep listening, as you are about to learn one very important thing. Something which will, hopefully, guide you into achieving a competitive and sustainable level within your writing career. So in this podcast, I'm going to explain why it is important to know how to build a responsive author email list. Well, for a start, your list is where the money is. In fact, the one regret a lot of authors who eventually do start carrying out this strategy is that they didn't start it sooner. Not convinced? Then maybe the following benefits will change your mind. Whatever you think, Emailing still remains one of the most effective ways to build trusting relationships with your readers. And what do avid fans become? Why, great advocates. Remember, this will give you direct, not to mention immediate access to your readers, allowing you to reach out on a more personal, one-to-one basis. Using email means all your followers get to see your messages. Unlike social media outlets, where there is no guarantee that they will click on your post. Did you know that it has been calculated that if we compare email clicks to the average pay-for-click-through rates, then email clicks come out a lot higher in the ratings. But what makes it better is that there is no payment for the conversions. And also remember, when it comes to emails, you are the one who retains full ownership and control over your email list and the content you share within it. There is no changes to the terms of service. Plus, you won't be restricted by how many emails you can send or when you want to send them. Also, you won't be hit by any sudden rule changes that will limit your visibility appreciably or significantly reduce your earnings. Using email allows you opportunities to build and grow your brand style, your voice and your personality. Remember, that's what you are in business for, to build and grow your brand. And that brand is you and your books. Also, Email allows you to diversify within your business. You will be able to gain independence, thus not having to rely on the marketing tactics of assorted retailers for your income, nor on the algorithms of sites such as Amazon to get your book in front of readers. 
overall, you should consider that using email is a relatively cost-effective, efficient and timely way for you to relay to all your followers the relevant promotional material as well as some informational content. Now, if someone has signed up to your mailing list, that means they have opted to engage with you on a deeper level, probably more so than they do anyone else, apart, that is, from, say, family and close friends. As such, they are more than likely inclined to want to support your work, buy your books, and no doubt be willing to share your messages over an extended period of time. A more business-like feature of using emails is that should your website go down or you happen to lose your social media profiles for some reason, you can still stay in touch with all your followers. The best thing about people signing up for your listing is that they are allowing you to communicate with them further. They are agreeing to become part of your target market, meaning you are not just spamming random people. These are readers who want to hear from you so make sure you contact them. Oh, and do it in a good and positive way. Another great thing about using emails is how they can help you grow as an influencer. Sending out regular, meaningful and valuable content allows you to build your brand, meaning that brand, i.e. you, will be seen as having credibility and authority in a particular genre or subject. Don't forget that emails are like word files, so use them wisely. Segment your readership into different lists based on their responses to any previous content. By doing this, it will allow you the opportunity to be creative, allowing you to target them with more niche-orientated content. Items that will appeal to each specific group of fans. And of course, don't forget to email an offer to boost your book's visibility prior to launch. This is a great way to promote your new book. Notifying followers about the new book could potentially launch it into that best-selling status, or at the very least, onto a couple of hot new releases lists. Imagine telling your thousands of eager readers that your latest book is now available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble and maybe Kobo. Creating where your email is to be sent from is also an important element and there are a number of ways in which you can do this. The easiest and most simple is to use your own email provider, for example, Gmail, Outlook, etc. Of course, there are other options, and if you want to expand this service more, then perhaps you should look at creating and working with a reliable email marketing service provider. If you have a website, then having an email marketing service platform is an ideal place for you to store captured leads, as well as managing your list and be able to send bulk emails. Whilst there are thousands of providers to choose from, Orba, that's A-W-E-B-E-R dot com, and MailChimp dot com, appear to be two of the most user-friendly, and they seem to be reasonably inexpensive and reliable. You can easily scale your list, segment your leads, export addresses, set up an autoresponder series, send individual emails, and view your email tracking and analytics. The most enjoyable part is that you don't need any programming or design skills to create great, attractive emails that will capture any reader's attention. These service providers are also legally compliant, thus helping you abide to any anti-spam laws. Creating welcome or follow-up emails is another way of welcoming a subscriber to your community. Remember to include any necessary information you feel relevant, such as website address, etc. In fact, blog or other social media accounts, you can use your email marketing service platform account to create a series of autoresponders. Having a collection of follow-up emails gives you the prime opportunity to start building a relationship with all your subscribers. Whether you set these emails up to include answers to frequently asked questions, deeper insights into your work, reading recommendations, other free offers, or any other relevant content, doesn't really matter, as long as it helps people get to know you and your work. 
But make sure to do this without being too pushy or salesy about it. The chances are they are more likely to pre-order your next book or purchase published works if you add good value with every interaction. To summarise, remember an email list is a phenomenal asset. Not having one could make it harder for you to gain the traction needed to develop a financially satisfying writing career. Of course, you have to bear in mind that as your community grows, hopefully, so should your income. If you need help with any aspect of your writing, are interested in the other services we offer, or would like to chat with a mentor, then please check out our website. Or why not email us, contact at mentoringwriters.co.uk, and we will endeavour to assist you in your writing journey. Have fun creating your emails. This was Anne Brady bringing you a Mentoring Writers Resource Box podcast. Thank you for listening and we hope you will join us again.